Hello, welcome to the Mark Janad Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, let's talk about the Hack RF. Uh, what is it? Is it the big brother of, of, of Flipper Zero? What 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 is its capability? So I'm gonna give you an overview of all the things that you need to know in regards to the Hack RF. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. What is Hack RF? Hack RF is a software defined radio peripheral that allows the transmission and reception of radio signals across a wide frequency range. It stands out in the electronics community for its ability to handle various radio frequencies and its accessible design. Hack RF serves as a bridge between software and radio waves, enabling enthusiasts and professionals to explore wireless capabilities. The frequency ranges about uh, 1 mHz to 6 GHz, covering a vast spectrum from AM radio to Wi Fi and beyond. The modes transmit, receive, and half duplex transmit and receive alternatively, uh, alternately, sorry, rather. And the open source is the hardware and software, you know, are the open source, allowing for customization and development by the community. The popular software works with SDR software like GNU Radio, SDR, Hacker, uh, the Hack RF tools, unlocking various functionalities. Now, the key features, compact and portable, it fits easily in your hand, just like the Flipper Zero, but it's just a little bit bigger. Maybe it's because it's better. I don't know. Making it ideal for field work and experimentation. It's also powerful. It transmits uh, up to 5 dBms of power, enabling effective signal transmission. It's also versatile. It can be used for various applications, such as RF research and analysis, like studying radio protocols, testing equipment. There is also security testing, which is identifying vulnerabilities in wireless systems and exploring attack vectors. That's one of my personal faves. You have the amateur radio, which is experimenting with different radio frequencies and protocols and education and learning, which is understanding radio technology and principles of SDR. So before I keep going, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Let's get into the characteristics. So Hack RF1 is the current hardware iteration for the Hack RF platform. It exhibits the following, which is the frequency range, as we talked about, the transceiver and the sample rates, which is 2 MSPS to 20 MSPS, and that is megapulses per second. So as an open source hardware platform, Hack RF1 is designed for versatility in testing and development. It can connect via USB or operate standalone, offering flexibility for user projects. The Hack RF1 is not only a tool, but also part of a larger hardware ecosystem, supporting advancements in the exploration and creation of wireless technology. Some of the hardware components uh, notably, the device supports a range of sample rates, like we discussed, the uh, million samples per second, which is this, you know, the 2 MSPS to 20 MSPS, which is essential for defining the quality and resolution of the received signal. Each sample is 8 bits in resolution, striking a balance between data th um, throughput and detail. So for co connectivity, it uses high-speed USB and USB micro B connector, ensuring fast data transfer to and from the connected computer. Tell me about them apples, right? <laughs> Moving on, we have the USB interface. The Hack RF1, uh, Hack RF1 connects to a computer via high-speed USB interface, which it uses for con communication and power, ensuring the Hack RF's USB peripheral is functioning properly. is crucial for software. You know, uh, you can connect the Hack RF1 to an available USB port on your computer. A computer may automatically recognize the device. If not, you can do the manual driver installation. Uh, if that's necessary, and then you're gonna have to confirm that the, that the device is recognized by the system or the intended software. What would you say would be your favorite use case for the Hack RF1? You know, it has the antenna, uh, and, and, and antenna connections. It also has the software support. You can reach out to them uh, if you have any, you know, issues or whatnot. I love when there is support. Okay. So that's what I have for you today. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Also hit the notification bell and the share button so we can have this conversation at a global scale. Uh, please stay safe. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.